Okay, folks, uh, it turns out that Texas and I believe Mississippi are going to go mask-free. Uh, by that I mean that the state is dropping its mandate for masks within businesses and, and uh, going out in public. Does not mean, however, that businesses on their own cannot restrict uh, people to wearing masks. For example, if you've ever heard the expression, no shirt, no shoes, no service, then you know that businesses of their own accord are perfectly capable of insisting on a dress code. So there's nothing that can stop those businesses from also adding no masks to the no shirt, no shoes, no service uh, conditions. Now, there are going to be some people, and I've already heard them start complaining, who are saying things like, well, I'm just not going to go to businesses that require me to wear a mask, yada, yada. Oh, and by the way, this doesn't start until March 10th in Texas. I don't know about Mississippi, so make sure that you're at least aware of when the restriction is dropping. But... I, I'm already hearing people complaining about, you know, oh, well, if they try and make me wear a mask, I'm going to yada, yada, yada. Okay, let's, let's just back off, cool down for a second. I know that wearing masks is frustrating. I can't tell you how many times I have walked right up to the door of a store and then seen my reflection in the mirror and saw that I wasn't wearing a mask and realized, oh, crap, I can't go in. <laughs> I have to go all the way back to the car, get my mask, and then come back in. So I've been inconvenienced by the masks. I don't like wearing them. I don't like the way my glasses fog up, and I'm sure there's techniques that you can ha you can use about how you adjust them around your face or something that'll fix the glasses fogging problem or whatnot. You know, it's a pain, I, and I understand it's a pain, and, and I especially sympathize with the people who have had to you know, wear these things day in and day out for like nine to five shifts or, you know, we're even worse case for the healthcare workers, you know, they're, I'm sure it's been a nuisance for, for so many people. But you got to understand that these businesses may have their reasons for wanting to keep the mask policies in place for now. Now, I'm still under the impression that at some point in the future, we'll go back to normal. Life will resume as it went on. Maybe some people wear masks as a voluntary thing just to protect themselves or feel like they're protecting other people. You know, And whether or not you believe that masks work is really not the important issue here. The important issue is whether or not you believe that the free market and businesses have the right to impose these kinds of restrictions on you, like no shirt, no shoes, no mask, no service. And I think it should be clear that they do. Uh, and yes, you do have the right to take your business elsewhere if that's what you feel, and maybe it'll influence them to lift the policies. But honestly, you know, I don't know. I've never found wearing a mask to be so much of an inconvenience, and I certainly have never found it a, a, a bootlicker submission symbol to wear a mask. I mean, that that's just... That's a virtue signal of a higher order. You know, there are some people who think that wearing a mask is a virtue signal. There are, but the, the people who think wearing, mask, wearing a mask is a virtue signal are also thinking that not wearing a mask is a sort of virtue signal because they're signaling this freedom value or something. So it's all just psychological nonsense and, and really... What it boils down to is that some businesses, Kroger being one, Target being another, they are not lifting their mask policies. So what I wanted to do was just offer up a couple of reasons why they might sensibly not want to do that. Why they might sensibly not want to lift the mask restrictions for now. Okay, number one, uh, the businesses who decide to keep their mask policies may have employees, uh, including the owners, employees' families, customers who they know well, customers' families who they, know, who they are familiar with, who are at high risk of getting or becoming very sick from COVID. So knowing their employees and knowing their clientele and the family members of each, some of them may decide that they are going to keep the mask policies in place for the sake of those people whom they know. Now, you as a customer of these establishments 
probably don't know these people, probably don't know their families. So don't assume that just because this might not be something that impacts you. I mean, look at me, I'm a reasonably healthy person, but, and, and my mother's been vaccinated. So, you know, that's, that's pretty much all I've got to worry about is, you know, eventually getting vaccinated myself. But I don't know who shops at the stores that I shop at. I don't know who eats at the restaurants I eat at. I don't know who owns or works at these places. I'm not, I don't have any familiar haunts or anything. When I go to these places, I, I, am not, I am not knowledgeable enough to know who is at risk. And so I defer to the businesses to say, okay, you know your customers, you know your employees, you decide whether or not dropping the mask policy is right for you. So that's reason number one. Reason number two is probably even more important because it really has nothing to do with personal susceptibility or your idea of whether or not masks work or not. This has nothing to do with that. Reason number two, which I think is even the more important reason, it's a pain in the butt for these businesses to have to change back and forth. I mean, think of all of the protective measures that businesses put in place in order to satisfy lockdown conditions. And now the state is saying, hey, you don't have to do these anymore, but you know, if our infection rates go up, we may have to put those back on. Well, there's a lot of businesses who are just gonna say, well, screw that. I mean, until we know, until we've gone a couple of months and it looks like we're in the clear, we don't wanna lift these restrictions because to go back to the way things were, and then if the hospital infection rates rise, we have to go back again to locking down, it's gonna be that much more harder work. It's easier not to change. It's easier just to keep the present mask policies in place and obey those for, you know, a few more months maybe. And then once we're in the clear, once the, va the vaccines have done their work, once the herd immunity has done its work, once we have seen that we've got COVID under control, well, then the businesses will go and lift these restrictions because, you know, it's a pain in the butt for the employees and the customers, and they know that. They know that. But it's an even bigger pain in the butt if you are at risk of having to shift back and forth and back and forth and let up and then clamp down. That's a bigger pain. So all I'm saying is try to empathize with these businesses. You know, you don't know who the customers are. You don't know who the employees are, what their susceptibility levels is. You don't know the pain point of the business in trying to shift their, uh, to their policies back from, you know, masked to mask free and then back to mask to mask free again, depending on how things go in the States. You don't know how much kind of inconvenience the uh, the shifting of policies would be causing there. So try to try to keep your frustration in check. You know, every, everybody's frustrated. Everybody's not liking the current situation. I know whenever I go out to a restaurant, you know, I just love looking around and seeing people with their faces uncovered. You know, it's it's almost like I don't even I don't even really need to go to restaurants to eat anymore. I just needed to to see the human faces. <laughs> So, uh, you know, I understand the kinds of pressures that people are under, but we're getting there. We're getting there. The states are lifting their mandates. That's a step. In a few months, you'll see the businesses lifting their mandates. That'll be another step. We're getting back to normal. You just got to have patience. It's going to take some time. So don't go off on a tirade. Don't go all protesty. Don't be, you know, Karen-esque and abandon the places that you enjoy and that you find value in because you don't want to end up putting these places out of business to the to the point where you know even when things go back to normal you don't have your favorite stores anymore i mean that'd suck wouldn't that suck so you know keep it keep the uh, keep the rage tamp down for a while longer yet i mean yeah it's <laughs> we're getting there let's all get there we'll 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 have a good time when this is all over so I'm Mike Partika saying, you know, wear your masks for now. Don't get upset when businesses are saying that you still have to wear a mask for now. Focus on the words for now because this is not going to be forever. 
Okay, so uh, if you enjoy this channel's content, please do subscribe and uh, check out my ebooks over on Amazon for uh, more entertainment and uh, education. And I will talk to you later.